Let me show how to solve uh, this problem here. But before that, uh, let me give a shout out to Marvin Cato, who solved this problem correctly and posted his answer in our Facebook page, KO Math. So here we have the sum of the first n terms of a sequence. So this is the sum n cubed plus 6n squared plus 11n plus 6. And we want to find a closed form for this sum here. When we say closed form, we need a formula without this uh, summation here, where a sub k is the kth term of the sequence. So let's show how to find this sum. So s sub n is equal to n cubed plus 6n squared plus 11n plus 6, and this is the sum of the first n terms of our sequence. So our first step here is to find a formula for the nth term of the sequence, a sub n. And to find that, okay, if we look at the sum of the first n minus 1 terms, we see that the sum of the first n minus 1 terms will be equal to this expression. So this is the sum of the first n minus 1 terms, a1 plus n so on up to a sub n minus 1. Note that this sum here holds only for n greater than or equal to 2 because we're starting with a sub 1 and ends with a sub n minus 1. So when n is equal to 2, we only get a sub 1. So the first term of the sequence is a sub 1, which is of course equal to the sum of the first term. By substituting n equals 1, we get here 1 plus 6 plus 11 plus 6, so that is equal to 24. And now, for n greater than or equal to 2, we can already use both of this, because uh, these uh, two expressions uh, hold for n greater than or equal to 2. So we can get a sub n equal to the difference uh, of this, Okay, so when we subtract this, cancel, 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 and what is left is a sub n. So we got here a sub n. So this is just the difference of these uh, two expressions, and we'll get a sub n, and then minus this one. So this is very easy to expand. So the expansion of this is n cubed minus a 3n squared plus a 3n minus 1. And then the expansion of this is n squared minus 2n plus 1 and multiply it by 6, you'll get 6n squared minus 12n plus 6. And then, of course, uh, this 1 here, which is 11n minus 11 and then plus 6. And simplifying this difference, you'll get here n cubed minus n cubed, so that is equal to 0. And then you have here 6n squared negative 3n squared plus 6n squared. So that will give you a positive 3n squared. And then you have here minus, so that is minus 3n squared. And then plus 6n squared, so you have here 3n squared. And then terms with n, so you have this expression here. So you have here 3n and then negative 12n and then 11n. So that is equal to 14n minus 12n, so that is 2n. So that is minus 2n and then plus 11n. So that is equal to 9n. And then the constant term you have here negative 1 plus 6 and then minus 11 plus 6. So that is just equal to 0. So therefore the constant term is plus 6. Factoring out the greatest common factor 3, we'll get here 3 times n squared plus 3n plus 2 which can be factored to n plus 1 times n plus 2. So therefore, the reciprocal of this is equal to, so you have here 1 over 3n, it is equal to this expression, and we can factor out this 1 third here, and now by doing partial fraction decomposition for this one. So you can easily find this constant here by cover-up technique. So what you can do here is you cover this one and plug in n equals 1 here. So you'll get 1 over 1, you'll get 1. And then to find this constant here, 
you just cover this one here and then plug in negative 2 for n here and then take the value of this so you have 1 over negative 1 so that is equal to negative 1 therefore this summation here from k equals 1 to k equals n so that is equal to 1 over a1 so that is 1 over 24 and then plus, of course, summation from k equals 2 to n of our a sub k. So this is our a sub k. So just replace the n here by k. And this is a special series. Okay, So this is called a telescoping series. Just move this constant here in front of the summation. And we write down the terms of this sum here. And we'll get here when k is equal to 2, then this will be equal to 3. And then k equals 2, this is equal to 4. And then when k is equal to 3, this will be 4. And then this will be 5. And so on. And then when k is equal to n minus 1, you have here n. And then this will be equal to n plus 1. And finally, when k is equal to n, you'll get here n plus 1 and then n plus 2 and we can simplify this sum as so this term cancel with that one and then this cancels with the next term here and then this will cancel out and then this will cancel with this one therefore the remaining terms will be one third and then minus 1 over n plus 2 so therefore we already have this closed form for this uh, summation here and we can uh, simplify this and combine it into a single fraction so uh, performing some algebra we'll get here 1 over 24 and then that is one third combining this to a single fraction and we'll get this one here which is uh, n minus 1 over 3n plus 6 and then again combining this to a single fraction so our LCD will be uh, 24 times uh, 3n plus 6. So we'll get here uh, 3n plus 6 and then plus uh, you have here 8 times uh, this one which is equal to 8n minus 8. And the numerator can be simplified to 11n minus 2 all over this one. So this is the answer posted by Marvin Cato in our Facebook page.